In New Zealand, there's been an active attempt to overhaul the healthcare system in recent years, especially since COVID. Uh, in, the, in light of COVID, you kind of had a lot of different people in that country talking about a need for a big reset uh, in the healthcare system to, to centralize it and create a, a singular authority. And of course, that phrase, big reset, is kind of parallels the great reset that was being talked about uh, around the world and in international circles as they attempted to change our society in a great reset, as they put it, in which we have no right. So anyway, after they've centralized the healthcare system in New Zealand, one of the things they're doing over in Auckland is to prioritize care in a way that gives preference, is the only way I can say it, gives preference to non-whites, that, that pulls ethnicity into the factoring of who needs a surgery and when and in what order they get treated. So there are five factors that are built into their new equity adjuster score, which determines when you get the surgery that you need. The five factors being clinical priority, time already spent on a waiting list, if the patient lives in a geographically isolated area, economic deprivation, and ethnicity. Yeah, that last one is something. On the basis of ethnicity alone, you score higher or lower than you would of somebody with the same circumstances as you in every other regard, right? Because we're already adjusting for things like economic deprivation, everything. But no, we're just saying ethnicity itself is a factor on whether or not you get care and how much care you get. And all of this, the highest scores, by the way, for ethnicity, the, the I guess, the fastest route to getting the care that you need is for the Maori and Pacific Island people, so indigenous groups. And that's all on the basis of fixing historical oppression, including they assert within the healthcare system. And whenever you hear these phrases like historical oppression, I always have to ask, well, how far back do you want to go? Because at some point, if you go back far enough, you'll find that every people has been responsible for some kind of injustice, right? And so instead what you're doing is, in, in, these, in this leftist notion, is picking and choosing different parts in history and saying, okay, for that part, we're now gonna adjust something in, in the preference of like the Maori people, for example. Uh, doesn't make a lot of sense rationally. It's certainly not a moral good, even though they claim it to be, because they don't understand morality and their morality is baseless, um, because it's not, it denies metaphysics. But anyway, like with the whole, how far do you go back? Well, like the Maori people, let's just take for, for example, they were savages who engaged in cannibalism. Like, uh, how are you gonna fix that in the modern sense and bring justice for those who were eaten? You, you can't, that's not how it works. Creating injustices in the present would not fix injustices in the past, right? But all this, this whole sense of let's deny people care who need it on the basis that they're what, white or what have you, or not, not indigenous, not of the right ethnicity, what's that going to do besides cause some of the most extreme division that you can imagine, like racial division? Because then a person might be justified in his presumption that his family member didn't get the care that he was supposed to get on the basis of being a certain race or a certain ethnicity. Essentially, the person saying, did my grandfather die because of you people, whichever, you know, ethnicity the you people happens to be. I, I don't see how that's going to work out well in terms of, like, if you wanted a society that that worked, a society that supposedly they want this multi-ethnic society and then they do everything possible to create as much division between different ethnic groups and you kind of see some of that taking place, that's a lot, uh, in modern places like in the United States at uh, major universities and certainly hiring practices in major hospitals now in which those of certain ethnic makeups are prioritized, like especially um, in America, it would be blacks are prioritized above Asians and whites, right? Again, all about historical oppression, but singling in on a particular period of time. 
Because when you're going back, like there's no, there's no no real connection by saying this person today needs to be um, paid for things that happened way back because it goes so far back. You can't fix it. It doesn't work like that. Instead, what you do is you bring injustices in the present that will then never be compensated for. But this whole thing is evil because what you're, what you're resulting in is people who need surgeries, that's what we're talking about, is surgeries, uh, getting denied them in favor of people who have a lesser need. Because all the other factors are taken care of and then you have that ethnicity. And so imagine like you're the surgeon who's living in this socialized system being told, okay, we've got two patients, one person needs it more than the other, but one person is of the right ethnicity. And therefore, you're going to do the surgery on him and leave the other one without care? That's the, I mean, I think it kind of helps us to, to boil it down to two people of different, different ethnicities, both needing the same thing. Then you can kind of see more clearly the, the immorality and frankly, just the evil, because it is. Hey, you're still here! Don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and share it with your friends. I've also got links in the description as to how you can help support my work. Thank you so much!